Hey guys, Marley here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a, a speed build. Yes, that's right, I'm coming to you with a speed build. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, but I recorded a part of the Snowy Escape mini series we were working on, and all of the footage came in in inverted colors. So I wanted to get something out for you guys, and I thought this would be a really cool idea. Um, the whole idea for this house is it is a mountain home that is supposed to blend into the mountains behind it. Um, I mean, not completely, obviously. But it's like if you squinted your eyes, you wouldn't even see the house was there. It's also a little bit different from what I usually do because it is an ultra modern build, which is super exciting. Once again, I was really inspired by the SimStream. She did a video really similar to this where she built a dune house a couple months ago. And I want to give credit where credit is due. I would never think to use roofs like this, but... I took her idea and I hopefully made it my own a little bit and did a very mountainy design. So this whole build is supposed to blend in with the mountains behind it and I am really, really proud of how it turned out. I think that it looks so good. Um, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm still not there with modern interiors. They just don't look that modern. Like they look contemporary, but not necessarily modern, so. Bear with me, I'm getting there soon. I was Googling like modern interiors for mountain home and things like that, trying to get inspiration and it just was not coming to me. But I do think that this is my most modern build yet. Um, and typically I would take away all this roofing, but I think this is what really makes the build and makes it special. So I left it all in so you can kind of see my process and what I did. This was actually the third time building this house. I, well, the third time like starting this build I did the um the first one on a stream last week the VOD is there if you want to go see the original version of this house and then my game crashed and it deleted the build and then I did um I started it again and again my game crashed and deleted the build but then I sat down and built this one in like two sittings did not give it time to crash made sure I saved often and we got the build out finally so all of this roofing took me so much longer the first two times I did it, but by this time I was feeling like a roof pro and I already knew the vague like shape that I wanted. So it was much easier to do. Um, but yeah, you can see now obviously I'm just like putting the roofs in and if you do the roof and then push shift C, it brings up like a hundred different roofing options so that you can do more roofs if you are so inclined. Um, and I was. It lets you do like weird curves. So that's how I did most of this build. And then the inside is just like an ultra modern, as ultra modern as I could possibly make it house. Like I said, my style is not modern. So to me, ultra modern, it kind of reads just like modern contemporary, but I tried my best. Um, and the house is really beautiful on the inside, I think, not to toot my own horn. It's very um, open concept, which I usually steer away from because I find it hard to define rooms. And there's a really pretty like kitchen and there's a family room upstairs with a TV and a piano. There are four bedrooms, three baths. They lack a little bit of personality, but I was just imagining that whoever lives here like really limits what their kids can put in their rooms, you know? So they're the kind of parents who are super like, mm, it has to match the aesthetic. So there are some personal touches like some personal skill building items and some like different one room has an accent wall and stuff but for the most part the furniture all matches like one color scheme and I think that that's pretty realistic to like a really 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 rich family but I don't know I, I'm not rich and I've never been rich so maybe I'm not um I also did in this build a custom fireplace which was a lot of work and it took me a while to figure it out because I wanted there to be fire in it but in the end I think it looks really cool and I'm really proud of it also sorry if the audio is a little bit like all over the place I just leaned away from my phone and then I leaned back into it and I realized that probably made the audio get really really loud so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little whisper for you guys I don't want to talk your ears off of course um, but you can see me doing the first try of the custom fireplace here. At first, I was just going to do a regular fireplace inside some, like, glass windows because I thought that would be cool. And then I was like, no, I can do better. Um, and the SimStream one time talked about an item that makes fire animation, and I could not find it, so I did not use it. I had to use some candles, and I sized them all the 
burned out and stuck them like inside of a log to where it looked like fire and I think that it looks cool enough it's um pretty interesting it's not something I would typically do and I think this is something I could refine more but making things look custom I feel like is the best way to make them look expensive because really rich people can afford to buy like really really like handmade custom made stuff and then the rest of us just like go to target so i wanted this house to have a lot of things that felt like they were made just for this house like this fireplace and i did some kind of like built in um like the platforms like help with that a lot and the kitchen counters i did and upstairs in the family room i did kind of like a fake console around the tv with bookshelves so just trying to make it feel like things fit here you know like they were built specifically to fit here so you can see me messing around with trying to find a way to get fire in here and eventually I came across this Christmas light that must have come with one of the holiday updates that is like some logs on fire which was perfect and so I kind of just stuck those in there and then used a candle size down to put some bigger flames on top not too much bigger but slightly bigger and in the end I thought it was really cool you can see here I originally wanted to have these green crystals in the fireplace for it to be like an eco rock fireplace because I've seen those but I couldn't make it look the way I wanted to and so eventually I gave up. You can see here I'm trying to find like different things that make the fire effect and I was having kind of a hard time. None of the flames are very big you know and you kind of want a bigger flame than this in your fireplace but that's what we go with in the end and I think it still looks pretty cool as long as you don't look too closely. That's where I'm discovering that log item which is kind of perfect. So I do this and then I size down some of these candles to make the flames a little bit bigger and I think the effect works. Um, I don't know if it's perfect but also like it doesn't have to be, who cares? I think it still looks really cool and it's really interesting and it's something you don't see very often so I did it. Um, speaking away from the build this for a minute, guys, if you did not catch my middle of the night stream this weekend, which you probably wouldn't, I would highly recommend going over to twitch.tv slash world. I got this really cool opportunity to play with one of my all-time favorite, like, YouTubers mm -hmm. in a Minecraft competition, and it was so cool. I'm really living my dream, guys. Um, I have successfully befriended my favorite YouTuber, and he's just, like, one of the best people ever, but he invited me to be his teammate in a competition he was hosting this weekend so i was on team brenny beast in a race to complete all of the achievements um it is a minecraft video and it is six hours long my longest stream yet but if you enjoy minecraft i highly recommend you go checking out uh checking out brenny beast and old bear who is also in the competition um and it was just a really good time uh we won by the way we won we we took it the competition was to see which team could complete all the achievements the fastest and we did it but it was a really good time i was in charge of potion making so if you watch my video i spent the entire time like hunting down melons and trying to breed turtles and stuff so it was a really really just fun time one of the most fun times i've ever had streaming and if you like to watch live streams i highly recommend you checking mine out I try to stream three times a week, and currently I'm trying to upload at least twice a week, so we'll see how long we can keep that schedule going, but I am working two other jobs, guys, so please bear with me. I appreciate your endless support on my videos and, you know, the people that continue to watch them even when I have to take breaks and stuff, so I really appreciate you guys. You can see here I was trying something with the counters from Island Living. I was trying to flip them backwards because frontwards they're not that modern but I really like that overflow counter and then I realized I only really need to do that on the end because the end counters are like the worst defense they have those wicker baskets that completely ruin the modern look so I kept those end counters flipped backwards so that you can't see the wicker baskets and then I flipped the other ones forwards because I do kind of like the drawers and then on the island cabinets I'm not sure I remember what I did um, I couldn't flip them backwards because it made the island like not work so I think I I just left them there but that's okay I feel like you don't really you're not gonna look that closely at those but the ones on the back part um you can't see anymore you can see I tried to cover it up there but I really wanted to use the new stove to put a stove in an island and so I ended up having to delete them and just be like all right we just won't look at that we'll pretend we do not see it so that's what I ask you to do I ask you to pretend you do not see the wicker baskets and this kitchen, oh, I would love to have this kitchen. I don't know why, but that overflow, like, waterfall counter is just really interesting to me right now. And I would love to have that in a house one day. I also wanted to try to keep it looking very eco, even though it is an industrial build because it has so many fireplaces. 
So like with the wood walls and the all natural tones and stuff like that, I was working really hard. And because of that, there is a lot of eco lifestyle in this build. I would say the main packs you need if you want to download this build are obviously Snowy Escape, Eco Lifestyle, and probably Island Living because of the kitchen. Uh, the cold kitchen would be gone without Island Living, but other than those three packs, I think you could get away with not having the other ones and just like replacing items, a juicy fit, maybe Seasons as well. I used a lot from Seasons, but I would say that most of the stuff I used is Eco Lifestyle and um, Snowy Escape, and then obviously a couple things from Island Living in the kitchen, and then a couple things from Seasons, um, and then like some random packs thrown in there. But I think that like if you had Snowy Escape and Island Living, you could replace the rest of the things in the build and still make it look good. So if you want to download this build, it is on the gallery right now. My gallery ID is Marley Nicole 123 spelled M-A-R-L-E-E-N-I-C-O-L-E-123. -E -E and if you play in this building and have your Sims live here, please send me screenshots. I would love to see what your Sims are up to in this house. Um, I don't know if I'll have any Sims live here. I like the idea of it, but I just don't have a lot of, like time to just play the game on my own I don't know who I would move in here it doesn't really fit my snowy escape let's play at all so probably no one will move in here but I do like the idea of it you know I don't do a lot of modern home builds and I really liked how this one turned out I tried to keep things not cluttered but you want the house to look full without being cluttered and I think that I've never lived in a house that wasn't cluttered so my brain doesn't know how to make it look good if that makes any sense but I tried my best. I tried to keep it all either like naturals, like gray, cream, white, wood tone, stone, or also, or go with like a blue theme in there. So I tried to keep it very like naturalistic. Again, trying to keep that ego vibe, even though it is not ego. Oh yeah, that plant from Get Famous. Oh, my favorite plant. And these art on the walls, I've never used these paintings from Get Famous either, but I think they look so nice. And just, you know, you can really feel like the person who lives here likes art and then I was debating putting a tv on this wall I couldn't tell if I wanted to or not but in the end we end up removing that we also go no banister on the stairs because it looks better we end up removing that tv because I decided that I'm gonna put a family room upstairs the house is pretty big so we didn't really need six bedrooms I just don't think that would be useful for gameplay and so I did a family room upstairs instead. Oh, and you can see here now you got a glimpse of that terrain editing I was talking about. I kind of built up the mountain behind it. I did have to cut it out of the speed build because this, this video was just going to be far too long and I would have not had 30 minutes of stuff to talk about. So I did cut it out. You can also see that one roof piece is just sitting off to the side. And that's because while I was trying to do this build, that roof piece was being so frustrating. Every single time I like changed or edited something, the entire roof got deleted because of that one piece. I ended up just moving it off to the side and then moving it back. Um, I also did zero landscaping on this lot. And that's because, like I said, I just really wanted this this build to fit in with the mountain behind it. So I felt like it just didn't need landscaping. I just wanted it to be pure white. And it looked really good. It looked really, really good until I came back to get screenshot. And for some reason, the snow had melted on one half of the mountain. And I don't understand why. Because before that, it looked perfect because the mountain was all white. So if you see the screenshot in the thumbnail, just ignore it. That weird, that big snow wall we're looking at right there on the right looks melted in the screenshot. And I don't know why, because when you play the game, it is not melted. So, you know, we just ignore it. We pretend we do not see it and we continue on. I really wanted to put a hot tub in this roof, like a little hot tub nook, but it didn't fit. And we had to come up with a new place to put it later. It was sticking out the back and I didn't want to change the whole design. So I was like, eh, screw it. Down here is like a little heated pool area, a little lap pool. It's not a huge pool. It would be like a small lap pool, but it is heated. There's steam coming up, um, a couple lounge chairs. And I did something that I had never done before. And that is I put the pool floaty outside of the pool, like off to the side, kind of like, you know, like maybe the kids put it in there when they want it, but then they don't leave it in the pool all the time. Because obviously you don't leave your pool floaties in the pool all the time, you store them. And so even though it's just like a, an object randomly sitting somewhere that it doesn't go, I feel like it adds so much character to this build. It's like, oh, people live here. Like they move stuff when they're done with it. That's crazy. Sorry guys, this footage has random pauses in it. I try to go through and find them all, but I was like in the middle of, like I was literally at my job working while I built this. So occasionally I would have to pause and actually do work. And it looks like I was just doing a lot of work right now. 
um, and I missed it when I was going through my cutting phase, but that's okay because you just get to listen to me talk some more in a very calm voice, a calm voice you don't get in most of my videos or in my streams, but you do get here in the speed builds. The speed builds are my time to like build and chat with you guys. It's very loose. I can update you on my life. I can talk about things that I want to talk about. And I just, I love it. Look, there it is, putting the pool floaty like on the side, like not in the water. I just thought that was so good. I thought that it added so much character. It's such a tiny little touch, but I was really proud of it. And now I am working on that big family room that I talked about earlier. Um, I like this room too. I wanted it to still feel modern, but also just like a little bit comfortable. Like I know it's like a modern build and it's supposed to be sleek and have no clutter and stuff, but I still want it to be a room you'd want to hang out in, right? So I try to make it look a little bit like this is the most comfy room in the house. I think downstairs really does fit modern. This might be more on the contemporary side, but that's okay with me. I still think it looks really cool. I also made like a little like sunken L-shaped table. I did that because I've been looking, I was looking up like inspiration for modern home design and I found a lot of like coffee tables that looked like that, that are like kind of stacked amongst each other. So I just wanted to use it. I thought it was pretty cool. Here I'm making like a custom little log stack by the fire out of those log benches we got with um, Outdoor Retreat. I don't know. I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. Um, I did try to work hard on the first bathroom of this build and then all the other bathrooms I gave up on. So one of the bathrooms is nice and none of the other bathrooms are nice. There are two double beds and two single beds here. So you technically have like eight Sims if you really wanted to. One, two, three, four. No, six Sims if you really wanted to. But one of the double beds is in a room that's meant for one person. I was imagining a teenage girl living there, but honestly, anyone could live there. And then in the other two bedrooms, I was imagining like a child boy and a child girl. But again, anyone could live there. Things don't have genders. And that's just what I was imagining. But it doesn't have to be what you play so this was the room I was imagining the teenage girl living in. She has one as well. Her parents allowed it. Um, and obviously everything is very, very matchy-matchy. Nothing is out of place. And I thought that that was appropriate. I also really wanted to use a lot of fireplaces because, like, you're living in a place that literally snows all of the time. So I think if you lived here, you'd really want it to be warm. One thing I'm noticing is that this girl unfortunately unfortunately, does not get a window and I didn't notice that she didn't have any windows in this room or I would have added one but it's okay. I don't mind. I still really like the room and I feel like it's really cozy and nice and if she wants a window she can walk like two feet over to that big family room and go look at that window so it's not that big of a deal. And then in here I didn't know what to do so I decided to just put a grand piano in the middle. I thought that that was fancy and I thought it was a good way of adding some decor without cluttering it too much also just a little clutter table over there but again not too much clutter and then and now I'm working on what will be like a little um like ch two children's rooms basically it could be either gender really I was imagining um a boy in this one and a girl in the other one but then these things do not matter genders do not matter just the family I was imagining had a boy and a girl and this child on this side would be a little bit younger. They still have more toys. And then the one on the other side might would be like a little bit of an older child. I know that they, the younger child has the laptop, but either way. And then in this room, I didn't do any toys, but I did do the child chemistry set. I was imagining them being a slightly older child. So that's why I did that. And they don't get TVs in their rooms. The big sister and the parents get TVs in their rooms. I know the Sims don't really use those, but that's such a realistic thing. I feel like... I feel like people in real life do have TVs in their room, so sometimes I do it in my Sims builds if they're like a particularly rich family. And then up here, I wanted the, um, the whole thing is the master suite, but I wanted it to have a door just because I feel like if you just had a staircase up to your room, you would lack a lot of privacy and everyone could hear you talking and I just think I need a door. So this whole upstairs is a master suite, but there's a door to get into it. And it's really just generic. This house feels really generic and almost feels like a show house. And I tried to just put little touches of personality in, but then again, really wanting it to have that like nice sleek look. It's a balance. Um, and let me know how you think I did because this is totally not something that I do very often at all. And I'm super proud of it. But we are coming up to the end of this build. So I just want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my last video so much. Part two of Snowy Escape will be coming. I just have to re-record it. 
So keep an eye out for that. And then an episode of Blood Island after. Again, I just have to uh, record that and it will be out. But those should be the next two videos on the channel. And if you watched all the way until the end, leave a comment about Athena, my pupper. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.